Welcome future rugby coaches, this is Rugby Basics bringing you another episode of the drawing board series. So today we'll be discussing everything about the rugby field. So that includes all of the lines, the kicking areas, the ingle areas, all of that we'll be talking about in this video. So make sure you listen up very carefully because all of the specific areas we're going to mention, we will be discussing or mention those areas in the future videos as well. So make sure you listen up and stay tuned. So this is your typical rugby field that you would play on as a rugby player, which ranges from a minimum of 94 meters in length or a maximum uh, meters of 100 meters in length and in width a minimum of 68 and a maximum of 70 meters and then also the ingle area would be a minimum of 6 meters or a maximum of 22 meters I will uh, talk more about this in a later stage in this video but yeah this is just your typical rugby field uh, and it's a beautiful top view so the, there are a few lines that we will be discussing today also a few areas that you need to understand as a coach and as a rugby player to improve yourself and improve your rugby knowledge as well so the first line we have to look out or look at is the bound the boundary line so the boundary line just means that when a ball passes this line the ball or the game will stop so make sure the ball you as a rugby player make sure you keep the ball within the boundary lines otherwise the ball uh, the game will be stopped and the ball will most probably be turned over to the opposition time opposition side so the next line is or the next area we have to look at is the field of play so this area indicates um, where most of the play uh, is the rugby game is played uh, although you can run in your ingle area but when you are tackling your ingle area the ball will go dead and you will have to give it to the oppos opposing side, opposition side, with a five meter scrum, and uh, yeah, that's really risky. So you don't want to play there, but you can run there. Um, I, I refer to this as the danger zone, and you want to get out of there. So the the field of play is where you want to play. This is where most of the game is played anyway. So so basically, when you get tackled in the field of play, um, just a ruck would be formed, and you can still continue on playing. Whereas in the ingle area, um, as shown here, uh, when you get tackled in the ingle area, the ball can go dead unless you uh, attempt a try. So the ingle area is the area where you score a try in this boxes here. This is where you score a try. And um, if the ball goes past that line as well, uh, it will be called dead and the game has to be restarted. So, the next line we have to look at, uh, look at as look at is the try line. So the whole uh, goal of rugby is to get the ball over the try line. You know, score points, get more points on the board, so that you can win matches. So the try line is just basically the line you have to get the ball past in order to score tries. The next line we will look at is the 50 meter line so this line divides the rugby field into halves and this is also the line at the center you will see the circle with the crossing that point there x marks the spot is where the the game is restarted or the kickoff takes place in that exact circle spot right there the next line we will look at is the 10 meter line this this line is just an indication when the game is, is restarted or the kickoff takes place, that the ball has to carry more than 10 meters um, in order for the kickoff or restart to be successful. If the, the ball did not carry uh, 10 meters, the, obviously the game will then be stopped and a number of options uh, will be given to the opposition side. This will also be explained in a future video on the kickoff. But for now, all you have to know is that line is there when the kickoff or restart is taken, that the ball has to go past that line. The next line we will be looking at is the 22 meter line. 
So this line is just referred to as um, normally you would hear in a rugby match that a 22 meter dropout has to be taken. So for example, when a team goes for a penalty kick and they miss, a, a 22 meter dropout would be taken to restart the game. Or if a unsuccessful drop kick was taken and also the game would be restarted with a 22 meter dropout. The next line we would look at is the 5 meter line. So this box I created here is also called the scrum zone. So let's say outside of this box uh, but still in play. So still in play in the field but outside of the 5 meter uh, box. Let's say the, the game was stopped there by either a knock on or a forward pass. Then the scrum has to be moved into the scrum zone in order for a scrum um, to take to take a scrum yeah for a scrum to take the next line we look at will be the 15 meter line so the line we just discussed the five meter line that is also the indication of where the line out starts and the 15 meter line is there for the rugby players to indicate that that is where the line out will stop so if a line out is taken and the ball is thrown over the 15 meter line, that is also another indication for the rugby players that the line out is over. This will also be discussed in a future video with where we discuss line outs. So that is that is the basic um, or that is the lines and the specific areas that you as a coach and as a rugby player needs to know and needs to understand why they are there so that you can implement the rules and understand them and improve your overall rugby game. So I hope you like this video and you have learned something because in our future videos we will be talking about the 22 meter kick out or the 5 meter, the five meter line um, and so on and so forth. So this video is really important for you to understand and if you go forth with this uh, series um, to understand what we're talking about. So make sure you understand these lines and these specific areas because it will just make you as a coach, it will, it will just improve your rugby knowledge as a coach and, and, and improve your, yourself as a coach. So this was the basics um, about all the lines and the specific areas. So I hope you enjoyed this video. So here is a photo of the measurements of a rugby field. So you can pause the video right here and have a look um, if you are unsure of what the length of each type of line is and also the name of each type of line. So you can pause the video and have a look. If you have found this video helpful, please comment down below in the comment section. It would mean a lot to me uh, to get your feedback on what you thought about this video and the uh, yeah, also down below in the comments, you can also request a specific video um, if you want to. And um, make sure to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you can stay up to date with the latest rugby videos um, for you guys, you know, to become a better rugby coach and even a better rugby player. Because um, the basics are key in every single sport, especially rugby, where... Um, uh, things happen so fast and if, if you don't use the the right technique or even don't understand a specific law so at the end you end up hurting yourself or hurting your team by doing something silly because you didn't understand a simple basic rule so make sure you subscribe to this channel because this channel will help you become a better rugby coach or even a better rugby player and um yeah Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed this video. This was Rugby Basics with another episode of the Drawing Board series. Talk to my hand, I don't wanna talk.